Hey there. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I've got a really interesting way that you can make money with your honeybees. So, and it really doesn't require anything other than you being a beekeeper and a little bit of investment into some bee suits. Uh, and that's just about it. So the way that I ran my Airbnb experience, as it's called, is I had it called, I believe it was the Honeybee Hangout. And I think I had it for an hour or hour and a half session. And I believe I was charging 45 or $50 for that time. Um, and honestly, it did really well. There was real no, really no like wind up. I did it for two and a half seasons until I personally became allergic. Um, but all in all, I, I was pretty happy with it. I, I mean, it was nothing to, to make five, $600 in a month, um, doing it. And that could be the car payment that, you know, you, you want, or, you know, one less bill you have for your house or whatever, just by buying some Amazon bee suits. Of course, they're not the best, but that's what I did. It's what worked for me, the pullover hoodie style. Um, I had in there that I require people to have on long socks and long pants. Um, I supplied the pullover hoodies, pullover hoodie style with the veil and the gloves. Um, I would do up to five people just because I felt like I wanted them to get a good experience and too many people just, it was hard for me to show everybody and give them all that wow factor. Um, at the end, I let them sample some of the honey. Granted, with COVID now, I don't know if you would do that. Um, but I would give everybody their own plastic spoon. I'd give them a dollop of honey from my bees, the bees that they were in. Um, and they would love it. And all of them really wanted to buy honey at that point in time. I just didn't have any to sell. I don't, my, in this area, my bees just don't really make a ton. I, I make a good bit, but, but it sells out really quick. There's just way more demand for it than, than anything. So anyway, so you could sell honey to those people. Those people are like more likely now that they've got their hands on bees to become beekeepers. So if you're doing splits, you've got potential clients there. Um, people leave with raving reviews because normal to us, it is normal to be in a bee box, right? But to somebody who has never even thought about keeping bees, to put their hands on a frame of bees and hold it or feel the weight of one with honey in it, it's just incredible. A lot of people just don't expect to get that experience in their life. And it was quite awesome to see that. Um, from all the, I had various clients all the way across. It, it was, I, I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, I only stopped because I became allergic. And now that we sell vaporizers, you know, my time is very limited. So it, it's just very hard for me to, to dedicate time because they book in advance. Um, to hosting. The only hiccups I would have was when, you know, a, a storm would come in and, you know, or we'd have a cold snap or something, but you can kind of plan and have things in place for those. But yeah, it, I, I, all in all, I was very pleased with it. I haven't seen very many beekeepers do it. It was just something I was like, Hey, I, I have to inspect my bees anyway. So why not? And it actually worked out really well. So Anyway, um, I've got a couple more of those little like tricks up my sleeve and things that I plan to do in the future um, in regards to selling honey and those kind of things. But everybody, you know, it seems has done the lip balms and all that stuff. But I just wanted to share this Airbnb experience with you all uh, in hopes that some more people would do it because there is a huge demand for it. Uh, and even to this day, because the listing, even though I don't have dates, is still active, I should take it down and I will. Uh, I still get messages like, hey, uh, you know, would you be willing to work us in? I see you don't have any availability. So there's definitely demand. Uh, you know, you can charge whatever and people in your club may say, oh, well, we do that for free. But the odds are people who aren't interested or wanting to become beekeepers at this current point in time are more likely to book through Airbnb than they are to find their local bee club and go hang out with them. It's just the reality. It's what I found. Um, and I got to meet people from all over. They would come over from out of state. They would stay in an Airbnb locally. That Airbnb that somebody else hosts would then say, hey, these are the cool things in your area to do. And you at your honey farm or your house, they came, they came to my backyard to do it, um, shows up on their radar as a cool thing to do 
uh, to kind of get out in the environment and, and have a cool experience. So anyway, um, actually, before I close out, something to keep in mind also, you know, people may have questions about insurance and that kind of thing. I had all kind of disclaimers in mind. Um, it is a little risky in that regard, so you may want to talk to somebody about some liabilities and that kind of thing. Maybe you have them sign a waiver. Um, I had some people get stung. It does ha happen. Um, nobody was allergic. I did have an EpiPen just in case. Um, but yeah, so just anyway, something to kind of close with to think about as well if you're going down that rabbit hole. Um, I don't know what Airbnb covers in that regard, but um, I did it without problem. But for yourself, you definitely want to you know do a little research before you dive in fully to it. But there's money to be made and people to make happy and, and get people involved in beekeeping. So I highly suggest you at least give it a thought because you'll be in your bees anyway. All right, that's it. I'll have a couple more videos coming out here soon. So if you uh, if you like the channel, feel free to give this video a like, subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback on it, what you think of it, um, this here uh, video on the Airbnb. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.